Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. In my last video, I explained how we can manage many-to-many -many relationship in a data model. After that, I got a lot of comments where many of you were asking me how to filter student and the class table with each other and it's not working for your case. Well guys, let me show you how it's going to work. Very first, what you have to do, you have to come under your data model and here where you have this relationship, you have to make it both. That means cross filter directions should be both in each case. For example, if I select anything from the student, that should go to the class table via this bridge table. So in order to filter it out, the relationship should be bidirectional and same you have to make it over here. That's how it would work. but if I come to my this data model and if I select Fabio from my student table, you can say that it's not filtering the class table. Well guys, it's actually filtering it out. How? I'm going to show you. Right now, it's not working because if you will see this table, which is my enrollment table and it has both student and class ID. So you would find over here in front of student ID 6, there are class ID 1, 2, 3, 4. That means it has all the class IDs and that's why in the class table you are getting all these ids and why it's happening well when i designed this data model as i mentioned in my last video as well that this is just for the demo purpose and here you would see there's a cartesian product that means all the student id has all the class ids over here and the vice versa so how we can check or how we can make sure that our model is working fine now for this case only what i'm going to do i'm going to remove some of the rows for the student id from the class id and for that what i can do i'll come over here to this enrollment table and i'm going to remove top two rows which are for student id one and their class id one and two so i'm going to remove them so let me remove top two rows over here and here you can select ok now you can see that for student id one there are only two rows that means in the class id there are only three and four so let me just close and apply now what we are going to do first we are going to have a look at who's student id 1 and here you can see that student id 1 is samuel for samuel there should be only two rows from the class table this class table only going to show two rows three and four which is english and computer so let me select samuel and here you can see clearly that it has only two rows now if you go back over here so what i have done over here this student id i selected one then this id one traverses to the enrollment table and here it found the corresponding class ids now that corresponding class id is going to filter it out to your class table that's how it's going to work and please don't forget to let me know if you have any further question and concerns also guys if you are over here for the very first time please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest updates and videos see you in the next video